Shalom, soldier. Most high in Christ. Bless. Shalom, most high in Christ. Bless. Why did you join IUIC? <clears throat> well, I joined IUIC because of the, uh, the discipline, the order, and the structure that was demonstrated by the men uh, all around the country. And so I watched them from afar for about a year, and I saw how they moved, I saw how they conducted themselves, how they carried themselves, and how they dealt with all manner of sin. And I said, this is the, the, this is the camp, this is the congregation that continues to use the Bible and answer everything according to the scriptures. How long have you been congregating with IUIC? I've been congregating for about, I would say, close to four years now, three and a half, four years. What made you decide to look for the Most High? Well, now that's a, a little bit longer story. Okay, I've actually been uh, involved in the truth uh, since about 1998. And, you know, I found out actually the truth came to me. And I, I believe I was searching before that, you know, and I think that's when Islam was big at that time, like in the 90s. And, but I knew that wasn't me, you know, and so. I met some brothers and I started reading and started learning who I was according to the Bible. And so actually I joined a camp, you know, at that time. I thought this was it. I didn't even know there were other camps. I thought this was the truth. It was called the Kingdom of God. And they were based out of Demona, Israel. And they were headquartered here in Chicago. And so uh, with Ben Ami and all those guys. And, and so, you know, I got, I jumped in head, uh, head first. And I learned everything. I was studying so much. And I went, even went over to Israel to check it out, to see the, the village and everything they were doing. And they went off. I mean, you can tell because the spirit of Christ wasn't there. And so, uh, and as I noticed that, I started leaving. This, and as you can see now, that camp or that community, they kind of uh, fell apart. So I'm glad that I did that. I didn't pull my family into all that. And so I said I wasn't going to join anything. It was just going to be me and just learning the scriptures. I just wanted to, you know, do this for me and if I know, teach my family. And through the years, you know, that's what I did. But uh, had cousins and people start telling me more about come and take a look. You got to see what's going on out here. It was like a big thing. And so I was just focused on my family at the time, trying to keep the laws to the best of my ability. Uh, never did, you know, since like 20 years, never did Christmas, none of, none of that stuff. And so when I saw IUIC, like I said, I was watching them for a long time. And I remember I was looking at other camps too. And I just, I was waiting to see that at some point somebody was going to get the devil. They was going to jump on them. You know what I mean? It, was, it always happens like that. But IUIC, it never Happened. I don't care how I was critiquing it. I was looking at them with, you know, with a magnifying glass. But they was going straight by the law, right by the scriptures. And so I was impressed with that. And I said, man, this is it. This is the type of camp that I want to be a part of. And the men that's moving in the right direction, according to the Most High and the Son, Jesus the Christ. What scripture sealed the deal for you to walk in truth? I be, it was, um, I know it was, it was the chapter, Rome, it was Romans, Romans 11. And they said that Israel will be saved. You know, because before that, I thought everybody was going to be saved. You know, I was, I guess I was hedging the bet, like, just in case. You know what I mean? If I, if I wasn't or something, I didn't know, I wasn't being taught like it was only Israel. And so when I read that, that chapter, and with all the precepts and how it was broke, broken down, you know, that was everything for me because it pieced together all the missing pieces that we were Israelites. You know, that we were from that tribe and everybody else could not be saved. You know, according to how the Lord uh, planned it and designed it, you know, and everything came into place. All the missing pieces, you know, fell into place for me. What makes you continue to stay with IUIC? I stay with IUIC because of uh, the discipline. Stay with the IUIC because of the structure. Stay with IUIC because the men around me, uh, they love the Lord. They love the Most High. They don't get sidetracked in what's going on. Uh, there's not a lot of... I would say uh, impartiality or respect to persons, you know, and they're going to deal with it according to the Most High and His, and his Son. So that's the main reason why I do because it's nothing personal. It's all about we're just trying to serve the Most High God and His Son Jesus in the faith of Christ. Quote your favorite scripture. 
Favorite scripture? There's a few of them. Uh, I guess it would. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd. No, I'm not going to go there. Uh, let me see. It would. It would have to be. Uh, I delight to do Thy will, O oh my God. Yea, Thy laws within my heart. But because with all the stuff that's going on, whatever's happening, if you just stick with the scripture, you stick with the laws of the Most High God, you can't go wrong. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. We don't have to go anywhere to go get it, search for it. It's right here, right? And the Lord gave it to us. That's how much He loved us. of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.